This ship used to hunt submarines and rescue sailors in World War II. In this video, we scuba dive the shipwreck of the Ancient Mariner. It was built in the 1930s and was originally designed to hunt alcohol smugglers during Prohibition. It was later used to hunt submarines and rescue sailors during World War II. This is an awesome little wreck dive. I want to take you on it. Let's go have a look. We are anchored off the coast of Deerfield Beach. We're dropping in on the wreck. We're dropping down to the main deck here. The main deck sits in about 50 feet of water. Bottom of the ship sits in 70 feet to the sand. We're going down inside the ship now. You can see the old support work and pipe work in the floors and on the walls here. So we're gonna head up this main hallway. This wreck is actually really cool because you can swim from the bow all the way to the stern inside the wreck. So it makes a really good wreck dive, good penetrations. And you can see this nice dark hallway here, but there are some windows in the side, let some good light in, but very interesting spot here. I don't know if it was cabins or something. You can see there's a bunch of whole little shiners in here, some little silver sides or something. We're heading up more, heading up to the bow of the boat. Here's a bunch more of these shiners inside this boat. So a lot of little fish inside the wreck. I haven't seen any big fish inside the wreck yet. We're gonna turn around. We're gonna head back to the stairs and head back up to the main deck. Now this second deck here was actually added it was not original. When it was a Coast Guard cutter, it was one deck. The second deck was added and it was actually turned into a floating restaurant at one point. So this ship was a floating restaurant anchored up in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It actually eventually sunk at the dock and caused quite a bit of damage before it had to be taken out and turned into an artificial reef. So you can see, look at this huge queen angel fish on the side of the wreck here. We're heading down the side of the hull and you can see the side of the hull is covered with some very nice coral growth. And there's a lot of life on here. I mean, there are all types of snappers, angel fish, all types of fish on here. And you can see the side of the deck. You can actually see the seam in the middle where the next deck was added onto the old deck. Look at this coral growth, massive coral growth. Very beautiful. I'm shining a light on it now and you can see all those colors, the pinks, the reds, the purples, incredible coral growth. Here's up on the main deck now, there's some type of sand fish hanging out very interesting fish i'm not sure what he is we're dropping back down into the stern of the ship this time we're going to see what's back here you can see the hull is actually still in pretty nice shape a lot of good support structure on that hull uh, the boat is actually leaned over a bit it got shifted around during one of the hurricanes in south florida nice windows out the side heading out of a hallway here and we're going to head back up these stairs we're going to go take a look at the pilot house or what's actually left of the pilot house you can see the pilot house was actually ripped off its place and the pilot house is sitting next to the ship so again this was ripped off during hurricane irma actually moved the whole ship and broke the pilot house off we're taking a look inside the pilot house there's not too much left in there I do hear that there are big groupers hanging out inside the pilot house occasionally. So let's take a look in here. There's not much going on inside the pilot house, but it is an interesting spot to drop in and take a look. Has a cool door on the side and some really cool old school round windows in the front of the pilot house. We're heading up back down to the side of the ship. You can take a peek in some of these windows, look in some of the compartments, see some fish inside of there. Look at the top of the ship. The top of the ship, the main deck's actually covered with a whole bunch of these sea plumes. Very interesting growth. And oh, down inside, we got some tech divers here using some side mount rigs. We're unhooking our line off the ship. We're gonna drift off the ship here. We're gonna celebrate this dive with a few bubble rings. Thanks for checking out this shipwreck with me. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like and please consider subscribing to the channel for more great scuba diving content. Thanks again and have a great day.